Hey guys, looking at the screen, what do you guess is the question? It appears quite simple to solve for a human being. How can you solve it using Python code? Do you know the trick? So here is my Excel file and I have made some formatting with green color, white text and then I have written two values here and I would like to write the sum in the C column. So there are a lot of questions that comes to mind how this can be achieved in Python. So these two things we have repeated in last so many videos so you know it what is the meaning we have simp simply imported the file path. Now the next thing that I would like to do is to create a data frame variable called df is equals to and using the pandas one of the method that we have learned yesterday that is read excel. But in the read excel it is quite simple I am mentioning the file path from where it has to read. Then I am mentioning from which sheet it can read right I can mention by putting a comma and mention the sheet from where it can read. For that you can use the sheet name parameter and provide the sheet name something like this. So here if you look at the excel our sheet name is sheet 1. Now it may happen you might have multiple sheets for example let me save. So you can see now I have got multiple sheets. Now for python to recognize which sheet to work this code will work. Now here again the question is in your sheet you could have multiple columns. Now how your sheet recognizes that it has to work with certain columns. For that in the python we have something called use columns okay this is again a parameter use columns and here within the square bracket I can write the column names looking at the excel my column names looks like this call underscore a call underscore b simply I have to say the names properly without any spelling mistake if you have multiple columns then the same thing repeats so now you can see this data frame variable represents a particular sheet. It also represents a particular column in the sheets. For example, if I would like to print this df variable, let's see what happens when it runs. So what is happening? Even though my Excel sheet contains three columns, Python shows me two columns because I have very specifically mentioned that you have to work with the column A and column B. The same thing happens in the run window you can see it is showing me the column A data and column B data. So great this much we have understood. Now the next thing I would like to do a sum. To do a sum I will use the data frame variable and then I am using square bracket and in this I am going to write sum whatever the column you would like to have equals to df and I am going to use the column a call underscore a plus look at this I am, how I am defining then I am saying df and then square bracket within the single quote or double quote you can write column b. So now what is happening I am creating a new column called sum and then this column and column B whose data is already present in the df it is going to sum and add the values here. Now at this point if I am going to print the df variable let's see what's going to happen I am going to click on this. So what is happening you can see a sum column got added and I got a sum value. So great. Now how do we write this back to the excel? To do this I am going to use the df variable dot and then I have something called to excel. Now this to excel method requires two things. Where would you like to write? So that is nothing but our file path right and then do you like to write the index numbers 
I don't want to write the index number, so I will say index equals to false. Okay, so this is how I'm writing. Now, before we write, ensure the Excel file that you might have kept open, just save it and just close it. Next thing, I'll go to the folder and I'm looking at the preview. You can see the preview. So here I have got multiple different sheets. I'm only targeting the sheet one and I would like to write the value over here. So let's go back to the pie chart and I'm going to run this code. So here there's a problem because it has to be F capital. Okay, fine. Let me run it again. So it says process with exit code zero. That means it's successful. Let's go back to the Excel file and let me refresh it or let me open it up. So you can see it has written the sum. It has written the sum, but what are the problems that you see it here? The first problem is it has removed the formatting. The second problem you have noticed it has removed the previous sheets and has only one sheet. So this is also a great problem, right? It is erasing the existing data. So how do we overcome this? Correct. So 2.2 Excel method is erasing everything, right? It is just having one data. So how do we overcome? I have already discussed this in my couple of previous videos, but again, we'll come up with more such contents. Now, the third problem is, can I have multiple, can I have multiple values under the column A and B, right? And submit. Can I do it? Can I have multiple? So I have shown you only two values. So let's see it. I am going to add few values into the Excel file. Now here, let me add few random values, 30, 50, and then I'm adding 40, 60, and let's say I'm adding 60, 70. So I've added few values here. Let me remove this and I'm going to save this file. Now the question comes is two values. It was able to do it. Can it do it for multiple values? So let's see that. So before running the code, I need to close the Excel file. Now in the preview, I am going to simply refresh the sheet. So you can see all the values are present. Let's go to PyCharm. Here I am going to run the code. So the code has run, ran successfully. Let's go to the folder. And I'm going to refresh the data. Now, if you see the values, the same code can also work with multiple values. Doesn't matter how many values you contain in the sheet. It will just take everything as a whole and sum it and give it to you. So in terms of working, it works just fine. But the problem is it has removed my formatting. So how can I avoid that is something is a question. So let's see our upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet once again in our next content. But before that, in case you have not liked this video, if this video has helped you, please do give it a like and do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it already. Thank you guys. Let's meet once again in our next content.